promise this is super short. We'll be done in a couple of minutes. Um, a couple of things that we've had as an issue over the summer, and I'm not addressing anybody specifically into this room, but remember with Group X Pro, when you post something on the subboard, it's still your responsibility. It's not like, there you go, all right, it's covered. Once it goes on the subboard, that goes into the queue where everyone can see that you need a sub, but it is still not covered until it is off the subboard. Reminders, if someone agrees to sub a class for you until they pick it up, it is still your responsibility. So even if Jill says she's gonna teach my class but she never picks it up, I leave town, she forgets and doesn't show up, I'm responsible for that class because I didn't make sure that it got off the subboard. So me, please make sure that if you, um, if you pick an instructor who's going to cover your class for you, that you keep on them. Hey, it's still on the subboard, don't forget, you gotta go pick it up. Um, so please remember that too. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys lately, especially those of you who are a little bit newer with us, but I'm getting all these CEC emails. What am I supposed to be doing this? What do you need? What we're gonna be asking of you guys is instead of you sending me your new group exercise certification, your basic safety card, your CPR, your uh, new primary certification, I want you to collect that stuff over your year or two year period, depending on when it's gone, and then give me a packet of information with your primary certification. So when you renew your group exercise primary or your RYT or your PT with your trademark formats, you will give me everything at one time. So you will literally have one day to keep up with. So it's not gonna be, well, I haven't taken kickbox in exactly two years. It was actually two years and six months. As long as you have done something that is applicable to what you teach within that certification year or two years, then that's good for me. We're gonna track it by the expiration date of your primary certification. Again, if that's group exercise, PT, or, or yoga. Um, but we're gonna have everybody submit that at one time, and then we will, get in, we will review the entire packet of renewal information. Instead of you getting the, in January, you're supposed to do strength, and in March, you're supposed to do kickbox, and in July, you're supposed to do cycle. And by the way, your primary expires in August. It's way too many days to keep up with. So you guys will have to keep up with your basic safety series date, which I still send you guys reminders saying, hey, by the way, our risk manager is telling me that it's coming up in case it wasn't on your radar. The other one is going to be your primary. Make sure you follow the rules that you're supposed to do for keeping up your primary, which is continuing education, and then we're good to go. Yes, so. Do you want it as a hard copy or an email? Either way. You can send it to us paper or electronic. Okay. Um, so what you're going to see is that uh, you will still have all of that information in your Group X Pro. It has your little file and has all those dates on there. What you're going to see if you look back to it now, you'll see things like Basic Safety Series and CAP and Group X Pro. They all say new hire next to them. Once you've completed those, we are not actually keeping those cards anymore. So if you're freaking out going, I haven't gotten my card and I did it two weeks ago and I know I need to give you my card. I don't need your card anymore. YMCA is going to keep track of your card. They're going to know that you did it. Um, yes, if you expire, you cannot teach. That is a um, golden rule for us. But I do not have to have an actual copy of that card. If you complete it, we're good to go. I have to have a, an original copy of your basic safety series when you complete it as a new hire. Beyond that is going to be tracked through our risk management department. Um, so again, all you guys are going to keep up with is your um, primary certifications, do your CECs like you're supposed to, and that's all you're going to hear from me about. Um, couple of just little housekeeping items. I love talking to each and every one of you. Like, love it. I love having personal conversations with everybody all the time. But just remember that if you really want to talk with me or any other branch coordinator, that you email and schedule an appointment. Um, because a lot of times, doors wide open, and yes, I have a completely open door policy, as does Jill, as does Donna, as do the other branch coordinators. But just remember, someone else may have scheduled something in that time, and sometimes we have an instructor in the office that's actually sitting down to talk to us, and 14 or 15 people walk in the door because they want five seconds of our time. So in order to give that person our undivided attention that they have actually scheduled time for, we're just asking if you want to meet with me, that's great, just set up some time. If you want to pop in and say hi, do that anytime, okay, that's fine. But if you really have something that you want to talk to me about, Let's schedule a time to meet. And also, on the flip side of that, if you see me in my office speaking to someone and we don't have an apartment, just know that I am giving them my undivided attention at that time. Um, or, again, it also comes down to sometimes you guys are asking me to work on things. You're not actually in my office, but I'm working for you for the next 15 or 20 minutes, and I'm trying to give 
still you might undivided divided attention even though you're not physically in the office. So if you want to meet and talk, we just need to set those times. Because um, Jill and I could have a personal conversations all day long and get nothing done. That's not going to help anybody. Um, please, 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 I will tell you with um, politics going on, with the Olympics getting ready to come up, Please remember that in the front of your studio when you are teaching is not the time to express all of your personal concerns <laughs> about any of these topics. I know it sounds like, well, how, how could it be bad about the Olympics? If you like a swimmer and they like somebody else, I am going to hear all about it. <laughs> okay? So just remember, um, yes, we are the why, but we try to, even on that point, not become a preacher in the front of the class. We can have our nice thoughts and so forth, but it's not the time that we want to condemn our classes to saving their souls. Um, I've gotten that a lot. Um, this isn't the time to tell everybody who we're choosing in the political race. It's not talk, time to talk about finances. It's not the time to talk about what you think the, balance, or the um, CMS school board should be doing. Um, so it is not a personal platform for getting your information heard. Um, Facebook. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see. Uh, also, just remember that um, if you are teaching uh, specifically Zumba, Cardio Funk, we're still getting complaints that the volumes get to be way too loud. Obviously, I'm not talking about everybody because some of you goes for, some of you guys are going, I'm really not that bad. Um, but it's actually the people in the classes that are complaining. So they won't tell you that. I promise you, to your face, they will come up to you and go, I don't know what they're talking about. And then they come up and they're really loud. Okay? So. Just keep that on there. Um, really, the music shouldn't be higher than 85 or 90, and the microphone should not spike any higher than 95. It really is ear piercing. And sometimes you'll say, but it's really not that loud. Make sure you're paying attention to where you were positioned in the studio. It's more than specifically, the speakers actually point out, so you actually are on the other side of them, so it's much quieter where you are. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Um, yeah, and if the studios continue to be too warm, too hot, microphones go out, too humid, please let us know that information sooner rather than later. Um, I have gotten um, text messages from instructors going, hey, I'm sure you know, but the mic's been out for three days. Yep, nope, didn't know that at all, because I wouldn't let it be out for three days. So if you're experiencing those kinds of things, those are the things you want to let me know immediately. Um, again, to each of your branch coordinators so that we can correct those things sooner rather than later. We had a microphone that went out this morning and thank goodness Beth told me immediately and so by the time that Leslie was in there for the 815 class, I was, it, she was already teaching the class, but at least it wasn't another instructor that had to teach an entire another hour class yeah, without a microphone. Yeah, so, well, I'm really glad Leonard didn't text me at 535 months. Well, he could have texted me, I wouldn't have answered anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, he's got a loud voice, don't you Leonard? <laughs> All right, any other questions while I have everybody here? If not, thank you guys so much for coming. Make sure you sign out if you did not sign in on your way in. And I'll see you on the next one.